Hey, superstars, it's the Great February Recap Show. We got some sweet contest wins, a video response for Jedi Styles, some purchases, and a big, huge announcement that I'm very, very excited about. But first, it's time for some sweet care packages. Oops, sorry. First one's from my BFF Austin. He thinks I rock, or he's calling me a What is with me today? Joe, some Chrome Frasers, more Frasers, Savali, Bradley, more Frasers, some Naquin, I think he's in Cincinnati now. Ooh, nice Mercado autograph, number to 99, and a Clint Frazier autograph. Wow, Austin, thank you so much, sir. Very, very cool stuff. It's March now, so this must be a St. Patrick's Day tree. It actually got lost in the mail for quite some time, but it showed up eventually. It says, Happy St. Patrick's Day. You're so awesome. Sorry the Mets took your boy Lindor. I'll never root for the Mets again because they're big dumb jerks. Your bud, Dan. Water under the bridge, my friend. No worries. These were jammed in there pretty good. Had to break the top loader. <laughs> uh, Sportflix Manny. Nice. Sportflix Jimmy. It's a lenticular sort of day. Uh, Sportflix Naggy. Thunder, Omar, Sandy, Kenny, and my boy Alvaro. Yeah, love it, Dan. You the man. What is with my potty mouth today? Sorry, kids. Here's my shuffle trade this month. I'm not really keeping track of what I sent out, but I try to make it worthwhile. Oh, yeah, that's a cool one. Dave Kingman. Oh, wow. Not only that, but a Gaylord Perry right into the PC. This is my favorite return to date. Thanks, random stranger. Really, really cool. I didn't swear in that last one. Go me! Random Act of Kindness Day was February 17th, and Tony Black was f***ing nice enough. Dag nabbit, Tony bought me a random gift. What? Holy f***. A 1956 Don Mossy. I love it, Tony. He's a beaut. Thank you, sir. This card is so awesome. I tried to display it on the nightstand so he'd be the first thing I saw when I woke up in the morning, but Mrs. Reindeer wouldn't have it. Goody G had a little fun with the stickers. Super! This thing is hard to open. <laughs> okay, alright. Uh, I got some 92 Donruss, uh, Shiny Chrome Refractor Edwing, J Ram, Joe, Rob Deere, Still Torn the World, uh, Carlos, Frankie, Kenny, Clubot, Nice Oral, uh, Frankie, Foil Luplo, that's fun, Clev, Rob Deere again, and Luplo again. Love it, Goody. Thank you, sir. I did find your note after I filmed this, by the way. I love entering giveaways when I can. I know with 11 to 8, I enjoy when people participate. So, you know, when I can participate in others' giveaways, I think they'd get the same kind of joy. So I'm not really doing it to win prizes. You know, it's all about the support. But sometimes I win prizes. Go figure. Um, I won Sean Tiford's recent giveaway by having a giveaway myself. It is madness, I tell you. Reindeer Studios, that's me. We got a Project 2020 Donnie Baseball. This is my first Project 2020 card. I'm a little late to the party, huh? That's fun. Some uh, nice vintage Bob Gibsons and Lou Brock. Some 68, 69. Uh, gold card. Milo's working on that set. And a 70. And back to Lou, 74. Oh, wow. A Lou Brock autograph. Sweet. And a 74 and 77. Love it. These are great, Sean. You're too kind. Toda Raba Raba. My name is now Resin Deer Studios. That's not the big announcement, by the way. Andy over at Flying Dutchman Cards, with the help of his brother Doug from Don't Talk to Robots, celebrated the one-year anniversary of Flying Dutchman with their first annual Packapalooza, where they opened and gave away a ton of packs. Sorry. A bunch of packs during a live stream recently. So congrats again, Andy, and thank you for sending me all this stuff. I ended up winning quite a bit. Uh, 92 Upper Deck, uh, Baseball Legends, Studio, Opichi. We'll save these for TTM videos. Blech. Andy threw this in there to spite me. And a 2021 Hobby Fat Pack. A lot of this was opened on the stream. Uh, here's Mudcat, that guy, Lou Boudreau. And we'll just set him on top. There's a Pache Rookie, Joey Bart Rookie. Cool Eddie f Murray. RJ, Crazy Max Scherzer and his nipples, Grandpa Ollie, and these guys. Super cool stuff. Oh, I almost forgot. The 92 Upper Deck was actually a repack. Andy threw some fun early 80s cards in there. Scurry. Toby, uh, Joe Morgan, Ron Say, and Wee Willie Wilson. Thanks and congratulations, Andy. This one is kind of half contest win, half purchase. My LCS Triple Play Vintage does a weekly giveaway of 100 bucks in in-store credit. 
and I won again. These uh, 54 Bowmans were five bucks each, so I grabbed those. Would have done that regardless. Uh, Bob, Early, and Larry, three Hall of Famers going right in the binder. And then my favorite Jim Brown card was just sitting there looking all bad. Oh, I did it again, sorry. I just love this card. Just Jim Brown hanging out in the parking lot. Actually, I did not have any Jim Brown cards, so I was super thrilled to bring this one home. So cool. Thank you, Triple Play Vintage. Uh, speaking of giveaways, Jedi Styles is having a 400 sub giveaway and he wants us to imitate another YouTuber. Now, I'm not very good at impressions at all, so I enlisted the help of a little friend to help me sell it. Here goes. <clears throat> what is up, YouTube? Poor Leaf and Little Leaf here. Thanks so much for clicking. We're doing some mail and we've got a really special one today. We've got our pal Froggy. He's a frog. Oh, we're excited. Yes, we are. Yeah, because those are drawings. Yeah, a drawing of our favorite YouTuber, Scott, over at Reindeer Studios. Really awesome dude. We sent this to him, hoping he would sign it for us. And nice. You can see I didn't draw his face or hands because I don't like drawing faces or hands. But I still think it looks pretty good. And Scott's a super awesome dude. And he signed it anyway. So thank you, Mr. Reindeer. Okay, okay now it's my turn to talk. Well, I'll keep them safe in my book. That's a great idea. Let's see what we got here. He answered our questions. His favorite artists are Derek Hess and Jamie Hewlett. I have to look those up, huh? And John Perlman was tough to draw. I don't know who that is either. What is your favorite food? He says Boston... Red Sox! His favorite food is Boston Red Sox. No. His favorite food is Boston Cream Pie. Yay! Okay, what do we say when we're ending the video? If you're opening anything... Look. Don't forget to... Click to a net. And have an awesome day. Bye, I love you. I told you I wasn't very good at impressions. I don't often show any break results because I really don't do that many and I just don't have the time. But I do enjoy the card hobbyist bargain buster group breaks, otherwise known as the BBGB. Uh, Patrick threw in some extra fun stuff for this one on top of what I bought. So I wanted to share with you and say thanks to Patrick. He included the sweet gallery 5x7 of Frankie. Uh, there's Royals, Pirates, Cubs, yada, yada, yada. Some of my Indians and some Giants and a Garrett Atkins relic. Uh, more stuff. Uh, dirt bag, Padres, Angels, Kluber in the wrong uniform, Blue Jays, Tigers, and a Juan Uribe relic. Let's see. Oh my, a 1953 Tops Bob Feller. Wow, Patrick, you didn't have to do that. Um, I've been looking for one of these. How did you know? Uh, that's just too much. I will treasure this forever. And a Julio Franco card featuring Sandy Alomar Jr. The hits keep coming. Thank you, Patrick. All right, back to my LCS Triple Play Vintage. I have been doing a little design work for them, and they started these $40 repacks that they wanted labels and displays for. Uh, so that was an honor to do that for them. These are modern basketball and football, all with a guaranteed hit and a chance to win a golden ticket that earned you a really cool prize. It's all modern, so I don't know my from a hole in the ground. Ah, uh, there I go again, sorry. But they've been selling really well, and last week they started some vintage repacks for baseball and football. You get 10 Hall of Famers from the 50s through 90s, and the golden tickets for these will win you a Mickey Mantle and some mid-80s packs. Or if you buy the football, you could win some Jim Brown cards and a Montana rookie. Uh, once somebody wins, they replenish the golden ticket prize. I bought one at full price just to check it out. Here's what I got. Wade Boggs Purina. Ooh, nice Ozzie Smith rookie. One of the coolest cards ever made. That is fun. Uh, Brett Eckersley Gwynn, 72 McCovey. Cool. 70 Marichal All-Star. I need to send him something. Uh, 70 Necro. I never did send to him. Oops. Uh, knuckleball run with the 69 Hoyt Wilhelm. And a 70 McCovey Santo and Perez. That was a really fun pack. It's not every day you get to pull an Ozzie Smith rookie. That's kind of a thrill. From the eBay last month, I picked up this neat little Joe Sewell postcard for two bucks. Can't pass up Hall of Fame autographs for two bucks. And then I was turned on to these old exhibits postcards. I picked up Larry Doby and a Tito Francona. These are kind of fun. And I bought this future Hall of Famer CC Sabathia. I didn't have his auto yet, and I really like this Bowman Heritage set. I might try to get some more of these signed. We'll see. And then I went to a card show hoping I'd find the T206 Lajaway that I've saved up for, but no one had the right one yet. But I did end up picking up another 1958 Don Mossy. I was thinking the variation had the white letters, but I was mistaken. The one I don't have has the yellow letters down here. 
but how do you pass up a 58 Don Mossy for a buck? Uh, and then a guy gave me a really great deal on these gorgeous 48 Leaf cards. They're just so neat to look at in person. Hank Edwards, uh, Jim Hegan was a great, great catcher. Really cool card. Love that one. And Hall of Famer Joe Gordon, super, super underrated rookie card. I wonder if they have an underrated rookie logo. Another care package. Aren't you done with this dumb video yet? Bear with me. I'm working up to something. In October, Dan at Mets Rules started the Where's Alvaro project, where he sent off a chain package to Flying Dutchman trying to gather up as many Alvaros for me as people could spare. We got Alvaros from Dan and Andy, from Eddie, Tony Black, Markle Mars, my arch nemesis Brandon Stebbins, Chad and Boy Toy Roy at Cool Plastics, and back to Dan again. I am so honored, guys. Thank you so much. I f love you guys. Nice. Dan threw in some packs. 88 Donruss, 86 Fleer, I've never opened those before, and 91 Fleer. We will save those for some TTM videos too. And that leads me to this major, major, huge announcement. According to the interwebs, I am now the number one Alvaro collector in all the universe. It is a huge, breathe, breathe. It is a huge, huge milestone for me, and I couldn't have done it without your love and support. And for that, I am inviting you all over. I just, I scared the cat away. I'm inviting you all over for a piece of this cake that Mrs. Reindeer lovingly made for me. Look at that. It's beautiful. Unless I eat it all before you get here, but I'm not going to rest on my laurels. Oh no, this guy's got plans and ideas. And yeah, I know I'm ridiculous and I want to thank you all for humoring me. And special thanks this month to Austin F's Autos, Mets Rule, Shuffle Trades, Tony Black, Goody G, Sean Tiford, Flying Dutchman Cards, Triple Play Vintage, congrats to Jedi Styles on reaching 400 subs, my apologies to Four Leaf Cards, let's see, Card Hobbyist, Eddie's Baseball Autographs, Markle Mars, Brandon Stebbins, and Cool Plastics. Much love, guys. See you next time.